Okay. Okay, so the observer. Oh, that's my... Okay. That's my God coming. <laughs> that was the... Okay, so the observer. That's, yeah, that's what I do when I hear, hear the alarm. I go to the observer. So, okay, so the observer. So the, the key, you know, just... Uh, this is just my uh, usual introduction. So this is an object. This is a banana. Okay, so a banana is an object, and it, the thing you notice with a banana is that it has um, uh, it has a shape. It's an object. It has a shape. A banana is a shape. Yeah. Now, when you observe a now, everyone here is observing a banana. Is anybody here the banana? No, nobody's a banana. Okay, so that's <laughs> that is good. So, we when you we are bananas. We are bananas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, we've, got a few, we've got a few bananas in the room. <laughs> All right. Okay, now, to know that you're a banana, the banana has a shape. Now, if, you, if there is observing of a, of a banana, is the observer of the banana a banana? No. Okay. So, if the observer of a banana is not a banana, can you be a banana? No. Good, okay. So, we, we, so for anyone who's stuck in being a banana, that's the way to get out of being a banana, is to know that there is an observer of the banana. Of the banana. So whenever there is like, so a banana has a shape, it's like, it's got like a, like a shape. So that which observes the shape cannot be the shape. The observer of the shape is not the shape. If you see an object, the observer of the object is not the object. Now understand that a banana unless you're a food addict, is a meaningless object. It might not be, if you're, if you're, food, if you're a banana addict, it might, this might be difficult. But, uh, so, this is good. Now, if, if a banana is moving in front of you, are you the banana? No, okay. And if the banana is here, you're not the banana. But if the banana was not here, would you still be a banana? No, okay, you're not the banana. So even if a banana is in front of you, not the banana, if the banana is moving in, in front of you, you're still not the banana. Even if the banana is not here, sometimes it's not here and sometimes it's here, you're still not the banana. Okay. Okay, so that's very easy because a banana is a meaningless object which is being observed. And that, most people are quite clear. But that's the basics of the tool of self-inquiry, is to be aware that if an object is in front of you, you are not the object, you are the observer of the object. And sometimes that object is in front of you and it's passing in before you, or it's here, it's not here. Still, it's not you. Because you are that which observes anything that comes or goes before you. Okay, so the next thing is um, thoughts. So thoughts are coming and going all the time. You know, sometimes there's a thought like, a thought can come, I'm happy, a thought can come, I'm a victim, a thought can come, I'm sad, or a thought can come, I'm complaining. So these thoughts are all passing by. Now, if these thoughts are coming and going, are, is, any, is anyone here the thoughts? Or are you the observer of the thoughts? Oh, okay, good, the observer. So thoughts are like bananas. You know, they, they come and go, and sometimes there can be lots of thoughts and sometimes not. And sometimes there's no thoughts. But still, that which observes thoughts being here or not being here is always here. So the observer of thought is not thought. And when I say thought, that would equally apply to images. So if images and pictures or memories from the past come and go, that which observes the pictures and memories is not. Is the observer of memories and images, is that an image? No. Okay, good. So it's not an image. That which observes images is not images. So what about location? This is a good one. Do you experience a sense... Oh, no, let's, let's do another one, the body. So, is there awareness of the body? Like, is there a mention, awareness of the shape of the body? Is there awareness of the shape of the body? Then if there's awareness of the shape of the body, can you go to that which is observing the shape of the body? That which is watching or perceiving the body? Can you go to the detached observer or perceiver of the body. And if you're in the... Now, any, now, 
as you're doing this, being the observer of the body, like sometimes there's awareness of the body, sometimes there's no awareness of the body. Sometimes there's strong awareness of the body, sometimes there's not. But that which is observing when the body is, a, is aware of or when it's not aware of or that which is witnessing the body. And when I say that which observes the body, I'm not saying to look with your eyes. There is that which observes even images or even uh, the awareness of the body. So is the observer of the body the body? This is an important one, because when you experience that which observes the body and is not the body, i.e. the detached observer of the body, this is a, this is a, this is a very high spiritual experience to realize that that which is observing the body is not the body. Because the body, like a banana, is a shape, but that which observes the shape is not the shape. So you, then you get freedom that you're not the body. You get awareness of that which is not the body. Now, there is, now, if there is experience of location, let's say you're experiencing location in part of the room. Now, can you <clears throat> go to that which observes location? Something observes location, but the detached observing of location. So is that which is observing, because the location is in a place, like if this banana is here, that which observes the banana, is that is that located so? Is the detached observer a location? Is the observer of any sense of location in location? It's always here. But is here a location? Yes. Here is here. Okay. So that which observes here, is that in a location? It's here. <laughs> and is here located? Is there it's a not somewhere else. I'm not in Bangladesh. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm always here. Don't, okay. But, okay, so here is a location. It's, the, it's like people talk about time in terms of the eternal now. Okay, okay, don't go into thoughts. Don't go into but No, but, but it's always now and it's always here. So I think of that in terms of location. Okay. So, so if you're in a, if you're, uh, <clears throat> So there is that which observes location. Okay, we can, we're going into language. That which observes location is not in location. Because when you're in location, that which observes all locations has no location. So <clears throat> that which is... Um, when you are identified with a, a, a location, then you experience location. When you are not identified with location, mm -hmm. you, you experience non-locality. <clears throat> i.e. that which is beyond being pulled into a limited location. It's, it's, mm. it's non-limited by location I'm, I'm in no, experience. I'm nowhere near non-local myself. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Yeah. so then, then one keeps going to the observer of being in locality. So that which observes locality is beyond mm. locality, mm. Okay. is locationless. Mm. That <clears throat> so that which observes time, go to that which observes the tracking of time. Is that in time? That which has no interest in time and witnesses time and has no bearing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Does that experience time? Does time exist in that place? So as you keep doing that, time does not exist. That which observes location or locality, location and locality does not exist in that which observes it. When you identify with the thought, with the body, with image, with location, with here, then here, location, time, exist. But when you observe, in the observing of these things, those things, you're not limited by those things, and those don't exist for you. <clears throat> so that, so the thing that is, the thing that is always here, and is not limited by time, location, locality, by image, by thought, now, don't go into your thinking, because it, it's the observing of thinking. So, is, when you're in this, as you keep doing this process, whenever you get to the next level, ask, is this, in this level, is there any experience of limitation or contraction? If there's any experience of limitation, contraction, time, locality, body, then be that which is witnessing that. <clears throat> 
So I've got some confu I've probably got some confused looks. Is anyone expect okay, we'll put this off for a second. 